Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training whenever that is allowed to happen again. Now, in this episode, I want to cover something that seems a little bit of an oddity in the standard. And, well, I mean, you know, if you spend a lot of time looking at the C++ standard, you've probably seen a few things that you would consider to be oddities. Some of them are things that have been removed in C++ 17 and in C++ 11. Now, a lot of things that were deprecated in C++ 11 were finally removed in C++ 17. And I did an entire episode about things removed in C++ 17, but I think there's actually a few things that I missed. One of them being this. This is member fun. No, mem fun. Stood mem fun. That is how it is called here. This is a utility function that creates a member function wrapper object, deducing the target type from the template arguments, etc. It was deprecated in C++11, removed in C++17. Now, it still existed in C++11. Let's go ahead and see what it did. So as usual, I've got my compiler explorer set up here. With uh, GCC 10.2, I just wanted to pick something that supported at least C++11. It's just the default one here. I have it set in C++14 mode explicitly because I want to make sure I'm not trying to call this thing that was removed in C++17, and I have my optimizations enabled. Now, since I just, in fact, released my C++ Best Practices book, which you can see a link to in the description for this video, I couldn't help myself but to go ahead and fully qualify and specify and add all of the decorations that made sense here because, well, these actually do all make sense. These are const member functions that do things that they could be static, actually, but, uh, well, let's... Let's just go ahead and make a reason for them to not be static, I guess. There, so now they're not static, they're accessing non-static data. So the memfun function is in the functional header, which should not be terribly surprising. And I'm going to go ahead and create an object of type S with my very well-named S little s object here. Now I don't know how to name this thing. It's the hardest part of programming is coming up with good names. So I am creating this memfun object, I'm calling memfun, I'm creating this object, and I can return fun of s. And this should work. It doesn't work. It's expecting a pointer. Let's go back and look at the documentation. Expects a pointer to an object of type t as the first parameter. Okay, let's pass it a pointer. And as we can see here, the compiler returned the value 42. So everything seems to be working as expected. This appears to be something that could be a relatively useful utility. So let's go ahead and create one that is for calling the add function. Now this should fail to compile because I'm not passing another parameter to it. And if I pass the value 10 here, then I expect that I'm going to get 52 returned. And that is in fact what happened. So again, this seems like a relatively useful utility. So why in the world did they deprecate it? If we go back and look at the details here, we see that there are four possible overloads to this. 
One takes a const member function pointer, one takes a non-const member function pointer here. These both take zero parameters. Now I know that this syntax is a little bit annoying to read, but this is a relatively straightforward template function that returns an object of mem fun t res comma t of mem uh, so the function is mem underscore fun so i pass in a member function pointer and it is going to automatically deduce the result type here and it is going to automatically deduce the class type here and then it's expecting uh, that's a member function pointer and we would have to go and look at what mem fun t is and now this is something that inherits from unary function which interestingly enough unary function and binary function here were actually removed from the standard in C++ 17 as well. So this is a cascade of things here that were all removed from the language. So if I have a mem fun t or a const mem fun t, depending on what overload that I have, then it does all these things. These are all spelled out and it's relatively complicated with a bunch of overloads. So going back to this, what we notice is this has versions for zero argument and one argument. So let's go ahead and add a one that has two arguments. So immediately we get a compile time error. There's simply no overload available for this. So this clearly is broken. It's something that is, has limited utility might notice is that if i put this in c 17 mode there's a good chance that this mem fund has not actually been removed okay it has not in fact been removed from our standard library even though it was supposed to be but our standard library implementers are generally speaking not really removing things when they've actually been removed from the standard and we're not even getting a warning yet let's turn on some warnings I'm still not getting a warning that I'm calling a deprecated function or a removed function from the library so I don't even know what to say about that again seems like it has some utility so what happened in C++ 11 we got mem fun mem fun Memfun, 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 something like that. So memfun, we were trying to call with add two values down here, but we can't call memfun, we can call memfun. Should be able to call memfun. And now our compile error moves down here to where we're only passing one parameter to it. And now if we pass two parameters to it, then everything works exactly as expected. So that's what memfin, memfin is. Mem, memfin is a more generic version of memfun. It works with both references and pointers, including smart pointers and it works with any number of parameters any type of member function and it works with pointers to members and this is the moment where i'll give a quick shout out to ben dean because he really likes it when member object pointers come up instead of just member function pointers so i can actually create something that looks like this And now this is expecting zero parameter. Oh, it's expecting one parameter, just the object to call it on. And we should expect 42 to be returned because I'm getting a member object pointer here versus member function pointer. So mem fun, mem fin, mem fin. I'm not sure how it should be pronounced. That can work on any type of member pointer. And I've been passing this a pointer this whole time to actually invoke the thing. I can pass it with a reference as well. So memfun from C++11 is a much more robust and powerful version of memfun from C++98, which was deprecated in C++11 and removed in C++17. At this point, I'm sure you're asking, why did they change the name? And I believe 
the answer is going to come down to ABI stability. I could be wrong with that, but uh, take that for what you will. So thank you for watching this episode of C++ Weekly. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. And now you know the difference between memfun and memfun.